Hey. For those of you who don't know my wife, this is Lindsay. Say hi. Hey. All right. Here we are. Um, hi, Joan. How you doing? Welcome. Hi, Sterling. What's up, Brian? So, the Groth fam. We've been uh, definitely just like you, seeing how this is affecting the world, right? And affecting our lives personally. And yeah, so we wanted to share with everybody because there's been a lot of folks asking, are you still moving to Hawaii, right? That's been the question. So um, about six days ago when I brought up the idea not the idea, really, just brought up the precaution of uh, to Lindsay about us not moving. It became pretty evident that she was not uh, a fan of the idea. <laughs> and well, first, I just want to say our family's healthy. Um, you know, we might have even had this thing in like December. <laughs> like, I was coughing so bad in December. I don't know if this thing's just already ran its course and we don't know what's happening, but... We were sick the, basically the whole month We were January. feeling awful. So, <laughs> we're... Uh, we, who knows? We could have had it. <laughs> but, thankfully, we're all healthy. And, Lindsay... Um, yeah. Feels very close to my face. Feels close to your face? Okay. Uh, okay. Lindsay and I have been just praying and submitting our whole plan to each other and just saying, what do we do? And... We, uh, we have a pretty cool story about that because we actually were going to sell the house and we were just implored by a friend like right before we were going to sell it to reconsider and gave us some pretty good logic behind that. Uh, pretty cool story. If you want to know more, we can share later on that. But we ended up not selling the house and then we ended up signing a lease uh, for a home in Maui, which was out of our typical lifestyle range it was big it was a really sweet house like five bedrooms in Maui like more more money than probably four times as much as we spent on our mortgage and but you know business has been good right like I'm grateful but uh at the same time we knew it was a little bit of a stretch but we signed a lease and we uh we ended up just with all this stuff going on we felt this pressure and we were like, man, we're going to leave. And our departure date was May the 5th. So if you could see how crazy all this is right now, we were going to be leaving at the end of April, driving in our Jeep, going over there. We had all these plans, like crazy, set up Airbnb for our house after we decided to just rent it and not sell it. And we have uh, we just were like, you know, we we're thinking, of, let's go. And Lindsay got really disappointed. And then she started to see that maybe this is for the better uh, because... I'm watching how the industry that I serve in construction and roofing, how they're going to react to all this and if that's going to cause them to want to invest more in the training and their sales and develop their brand and their marketing and uh, their sales leadership or if they're going to you know, feel a little hesitant. So thankfully this month has been good, but you still have all these unknowns. And so we, uh, we went ahead and called our the owner of the place that we were we signed a lease for and we we told them the scenario and they felt somewhat grace toward us but really they were like you signed a lease man like that's that's what you did so she was why pretty, don't you tell the, well, the rest i felt like she was actually super nice um she immediately put it back on the market the house that we were going to rent in maui and two days later, it got rented. Two days so, later, it got rented. That was a huge blessing. Huge. So we were, like, going to have... We potentially could have been here in Florida with the really fat, large large yeah, uh, lease. That rent that we were <laughs> That we were not going to be able to live in. we weren't living. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, we also couldn't just say, let's wait and ride this out, then go. Because Lindsay's pregnant with number four. And uh, <laughs> so... Because she's pregnant with number four, we can't just fly in any time we want. Right. So. I'll be 27 weeks May 5th, 
when we were supposed to leave, and I, I can't. And, and that's like pushing it. Yeah, I, I think it's twenty seven or twenty eight weeks till you can not fly safely anymore. Like not recommended. So, so. we are staying here for now, uh, and we're gonna have a baby, and then we're gonna look up, you know, Plan B of uh, how we're potentially gonna move over there. So. So all this to say, if any of you amazing folks out there have any connections to Maui. Um, and could hook. I mean they want to sell their house or yeah. rent for a great deal for a family of five and more holler at us yeah and if you're uh you know in the construction industry and haven't bought my program just buy more so that we can move to Maui so that's <laughs> what we need but no we're um we're staying in Florida we're local business <laughs> yeah support online coaching businesses <laughs> um, help the industry grow but no we're staying home uh, in Florida which we always felt was home yeah but we're staying here for now um, we don't know what the Lord has for us you know we're what we do know is this our family's healthy our, our marriage is is strong our family is thriving um, we're doing well our children are growing and they're beautiful everyone's healthy everyone's healthy um, you know, we have our close friends. Our the industry is uh, that I'm serving is uh, it's an honor to be serving next to some people that are I really care, uh, make an impact. But also, um, my business is at the same time. There's a lot of exciting things happening. And uh, where's the brick background, <laughs> bro? <laughs> no brick background on this one. This is uh, that's fake. Here we go. Here's our our head header above our bed. Here, love you more believe and you're perfect to me so we're not in the office okay um but uh anyhow we're we're just we're good it's been a challenge to navigate the whole move um and the world we live in now with with everything being online it makes it possible but uh you know at the end of the day it all derives from from the wife here and her dreams and i'm we're big on just uh you know, working as a team and doing what's best for both of us. So she is uh, having beautiful children and uh, holding it down, but it's not in paradise in Maui yet. But uh, for now, we're going to enjoy Florida. There's no better place probably except Maui than uh, to be in right now. We have our pool and we're enjoying um, our children as we work, as I work every day. I'm up at I'm up at 4.30 and 5, cranking it out, and then uh, work till about 5, so... It's pretty much all day, every day. Yeah. Um, enjoy it. Enjoy what I do. But, Lindsay, uh, you want to tell anybody in Facebook land um, maybe some lessons we're learning from us chasing our dreams and stuff like that? Because we're going for it. And we're about to move from Florida to Hawaii, and it totally got derailed. <laughs> you know, this whole thing. Yay, thanks, Benny. So sweet. But um, just, anything that yeah, you have for yeah. our friends? The thing that has been on my mind is, oh, but don't butcher it. I'm not like the best in front of people. Hey, Raina, I love you. Is um, when you, when you leave things in God's hands, you see God's hands in things. So we're just, I'm just mm. trusting the Lord. Dang, you never said that to me. I'm just That's trusting good. him. I actually saw it on LJ. <laughs> <laughs> You're holding back. Uh, no, it, we're, I mean, for the longest time, I've just been wanting to live there in Maui for, you know, off the land and having our kids run around and hike and surf and camp and fish and all that stuff. But, um, you Say know, that again. That was good. When you leave things in God's hands, you see God's hand in it. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's getting touched right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to our best to leave Say in God's again. hand. <laughs> that's so, good yeah yeah so we're we're just um you know we're all going for it right hopefully and i think what we find when we're pursuing the things that we want right it's like what is this what we heard the other day god god uh god honors a trier god likes a trier he likes a trier you know we're just going for it you know we want to go after it we want to do I'm doing what I love. Like I get to make money by helping people grow and make sales and go break barriers and grow their businesses and give back to the community, all that stuff. I'm having a blast and I could do it all day. Like seriously, Lindsay, can I? I could, yeah. do, I could just all day. Yeah. That's a conversation <laughs> we have often. All day. <laughs> yeah. So we're, um, 
<laughs> but, you know, why am I doing all this if, if the family is not thriving? And so as Lindsay has shared uh, what she wants, you know, it's been Hawaii. And I'm like, shoot, I'll do it. Let's do it. I know it's a risk, but let's go. And it got derailed. So we know it's for the best. Yeah. Um, right? Yeah, and, maybe uh, there's things on the other side that would make our move, our transition better. Or maybe it's uh, that we're not supposed to go, so... Yeah, but none, we're nonetheless, sure. we're uh, we're just we're just trusting trusting the Lord. And if you guys know that we believe in God, obviously we uh, we make it pretty clear. If you didn't know that, I don't do it. In my, I don't talk about it in my trainings necessarily, but that's what motivates us is to live life, uh, you know, that way. And so, because we do that, we're not so fixated on outcomes, right? You know, when outcomes don't shake out our way, we we have a better perspective and we're able to roll with the punches. And but believe that, uh, the whole thing is we're still going to try. Yeah. So after we have the baby, um, hey Paige, hey, hey Maddie, after we have the baby, we're going to um, give it a few months and try again. So we'll see. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to buy simply. You know, we could, I think it's important that you don't always spend the money even though you have it right right now right cash is tight people are like okay cash is everything right now you want to preserve what you have thankfully we've saved up a lot of money but i wish i had a lot more money right i want more so living within your means even when times are good is the key and being responsible and so uh yay we'll get to meet the baby girl <laughs> Lindsay, do we have a name yet wait we're in between two i think we should take a poll you want to do a poll? Can we do a poll right no, now? No, let's do it another time. Okay. Do you want to give them a preview of our uh, <laughs> of the names? Okay. Um, we like Isla, Joy, which... Hi, Taryn. I'm sorry about your, your pops. Um, about um, Dustin's dad. So we like Isla, Joy, and um, we also like um, Koa, Corinne. Koa Karin, it's a uh, Hawaiian for brave. Brave woman. Woman and Karin means woman, so uh, brave woman, right? Yeah. Uh, and we're in uh, Isla is an island, right? Isla, so, Isla Joy would be the rising up of joy. So you like Isla, yay? Yeah, we're. Yeah, uh, we like them both, so we're just trying to. And we're choose. big on name meanings. All of our children have a name meaning that have a you know reason behind it, although. You know, whatever. So, we're, uh, yeah, we're just grateful. You know, we've had, we've had, we're just blessed. We're thankful. A lot of good stuff happening. We just want, we just want to keep going and encourage you to keep going and just keep pressing through. And when there's a setback, you know, let it, let it help propel you into a new direction. So, uh, that's it. That's our update. Um, so we're not moving right now. We're hoping that maybe after the baby, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of unknowns, right? If I, you know, I gotta, I'm, I'm certain that the, the business will be great, uh, as, as my clients should be certain that it'll be great. But yeah, you also have a cautious outlook and you want to be responsible. You know, you don't want to just be frivolous mm -hmm. time to be really diligent, put your hand to the plow, be smart, uh, say no to things that are, you know, impulsive that aren't going to keep you on track and be a, and, and, and drop some dead weight, right? Yeah, don't be that guy. <laughs> Bill Brown, Lindsay's dad, he was a man of few words, but here's what he did say. <laughs> this is where I get it from. Don't be that guy. <laughs> don't so, be that guy. Don't be that guy who spends all your money and now you're broke. Yeah. Don't be that guy who... Uh, and don't be that guy who doesn't go after your dreams. They're worth it, you know? Yeah, go after your dreams. Lindsay's not one, just give an insight on our marriage here. She's not one to uh, desire a whole lot, you know, while we're here. Like, life is simple, right? You like um, just good, healthy food and outdoor adventure and, a, and some quality time and, nature. but nature. But, uh, you know, but she wants to live in like Hawaii. So um, Sorry, it's like, it goes from like, yeah, I don't need much to like, let's go all the way across the world and uh make a huge move so uh and she's like i'll live in a tent right and i'm I'll like live in a tent you, in Hawaii? living in a tent <laughs> is that cool no that could be affordable in a uh -uh. no i'm a i'm the glamper over here <laughs> i need my setup i need you to work see our closets <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna show the camera 
Yeah, mine's about three times as much as hers. So. And I've told him that we're minimalist and this is still what I get. So. I keep shedding clothes and then like I'll have I like something more. come out like a speaking gig and I'm like, I need something. Anyway, we'll it's, let you we're guys go. On it, so. yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. But uh, yeah, we love you. We love you Facebook, friends and business. Uh, we just wanted to give everybody a quick update. So thank you for hanging Blessings. out with us for a few minutes. And uh, yeah, God bless you. Keep going after your dreams. Bye.